There you go. <laughs> well done, dummy. Well done. Hell hit. yeah. Ada, thank nice. you. Nice. Fire. Oh. Oh, oh. Ada. You know, we've been called out before. Sometimes it was a good thing. I remember when the goons shouted us out on their podcast. Uh, you know, it was basically the dude just being like, Oh yeah, speaking of reaction videos, uh, uh, you know, uh, has anyone out there heard of Renegades, uh, the Renegades? And all of a sudden, everyone else is just like, Oh yeah, I think I've heard of them. And then all of a sudden, McNasty Those two fat in. guys. It's just like, you know, Oh, you mean the two chubby dudes on the couch? All of the do stuff. It's like, it's like, oh, you mean two chubby dudes on the couch? It's like, yeah, you mean... The dude's like, like, like there's got to be a better way to describe them than like, chubby I don't know, it's just like, it's like, it's like you don't even recognize and call them by their names. It's like, I don't fucking know their names. I don't know, Bob and Steve. Just like, from now on, I'm Bob and he's Steve. <laughs> I'm cool with that. It's good, but, Bob. What's good, Steve? So, um, but also... Other times we've been uh, shouted out and all that, uh, you know, uh, said Poppy Rick. Um, also, uh, <laughs> Epic Rap Battles of History shouting us out that one time, which was uh, so freaking awesome. And then, of course, uh, other uh, other channels out there who say that we inspired them somehow, some way. Uh, Site42 and his uh, continued support on our SCP project. Uh, it Shout outs are fun. Then there's the times we're shouted out, and it's like, oh, this guy does not like us. <laughs> uh, for instance, Great A Under A. On a live stream, he basically said that he called us dogs and said that we deserve to be put down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He was playing, I remember he was playing GTA San Andreas uh, HD Remastered, and uh, he was just like, oh, fucking Renegades. Yeah. Reacted to two of my videos. Yeah, the fucking dogs. Yeah, they deserve to be fucking put down. I'm just like, Jesus, man. Like, well, you don't sucks. even know us. You don't even know us, and you're wishing a death threat on us. Like, wow, thanks, thanks for that. And he sicked his uh, Twitter fan base on us, and I basically was just like, yeah, I'm not doing this. I silenced the uh, the conversation that uh, he was trying to have with us, and I was just like, yeah, I'm not playing into it because that's exactly what he wants. And now where's grade A under A? Oh, wait, that's right. He doesn't post videos anymore because he got called out for being a fucking pleb. Hmm. And there you go. So, yeah. Instead of, like, being encouraging, and because, you know, without you guys reacting, other viewers wouldn't be able to like your viewers wouldn't be seeing his video so i, and, I guess and you give him credit i guess but so what was the point at the same time it was requested asshole. of us it was requested of, but that's the other thing we found ourselves agreeing with him mm-hmm. we found ourselves and i guarantee if he would have watched our video he'd have probably just been like oh so they actually like what i what i i guarantee he didn't watch our videos he just heard that we reacted to it and he just assumed that we we were negative towards him. It's just like no, because no because the people that he was uh, re, uh, he was reviewing in his video, uh, CJ is so cool and Jinx. I had massive problems with how they did reactions. Mm-hmm. I did not like how they did it at all. Mm-hmm. And I made that I made that apparently clear whenever we reacted to it. Yeah. And then I remember when uh, he basically. Uh, was threatening to copyright strike us for the two videos that, of his that we reacted to. I was like, oh, well, guess we're taking these down. And <laughs> we took them down, and then he came at us again on Twitter, basically like, did you fat, ugly, boring motherfuckers delete your reactions to my videos? And I was just like, not even gonna, not even gonna respond. And he basically, I, he basically just burned himself out trying to hate on us. And then, of course... There was Tyrone Magnus who fought against him, and Tyrone did everything that he could against him. And Tyrone's still posting stuff. Tyrone, as far as I've seen, has only continued to climb in terms of popularity. Hmm. I mean, I respect the hell out of Tyrone Magnus for just sticking with it like that. The good guys always win. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, speaking of good guys, I like both of these guys. I like Uncle Roger, and I like Gordon Ramsay. Mm-hmm. But, apparently... Gordon is calling out Uncle Roger in this one. So, 
I wonder how he's going to be calling him out, and I wonder how this is going to play out. I don't know, but I guess we'll see. So uh, this one was requested on our Discord, by the way. So, uh, yeah, big appreciation, big shout-out to our Discord uh, for uh, this request. And uh, let's check it out and see what's up. This is going to send Uncle Roger into overdrive. What? Trust me, I know he's in a flying pan and he loves the walk. But, trust me, I've been to Indonesia more times than he has. Let me tell you. Did Gordon just call out Uncle Roger? <laughs> He's a nephew. Have you checked out Haya podcast yet? Because Wait, in later I love the fact that he has a rice cooker. <laughs> what rice cooker? Rice cooker neon sign behind him. That's the best shit ever. Yeah, yeah. Uncle Roger go on that to give you Hi, a yeah. tip. I know many niece and nephew single and lonely. So finish watching this video and go check out Haya podcast. Single and I feel called out, Roger. I feel called out from that. What the hell? I'm single, but I'm not lonely. Some of my favorite dishes come from food stalls around Asia. And today, I'm transporting you back to that beautiful country, Indonesia. So, are you ready for a delicious Asian noodle dish? Yay! In just 10 minutes. Ah, Indonesian noodle. So, Gordon making me goreng at Indonesian for stir fry noodle. Oscar! Pan down, please. Right, uh, beautiful noodles. Yeah, udon noodles. Um, what, what? What he say? Beautiful noodles. Yeah, udon noodles. Uh, udon noodle, Japanese. Hiya. Mi goreng, just use egg noodle. Or even better, you can stir fry into me instant noodle. That's super authentic way to make mi goreng. And mi goreng is very flexible dish. Anything can go in there anyway. Remember niece and nephew. Gordon nailed his egg fried rice, he get called Uncle Gordon, but then he fucked up ramen, so Uncle Roger take that title away from him. Let's oh. see if he can win it back. Bacon. This is sort of streaky lean bacon. Bacon? Bacon a bit weird. Let's see what he do with bacon. I want the flavour from it, okay? So, I'm going to cut nice, large noodles. The street food phenomenon in Indonesia is incredible. You can actually eat sometimes better on the street than you can in a restaurant. It's that good. Correct. Indonesia street food, very good. But in not just Indonesia. If you go to Jamie Oliver restaurant and you eat the food there, you will realize even random shit from street tastes better than his food. <laughs> Emotional <laughs> damage. <Wait. laughs> God dang it. I still think it's hilarious that he still gets confused for Stephen Heaney. I, I think that's... Uh, that's both hilarious and kind of... It's a little bit messed up. It's a up. mild racism. Yeah. Yeah. But, ah, eh, well. They're it, clearly two different looking dudes. <laughs> they are. I mean, it, <laughs> plus, I don't think Stephen, he cooks. Uh, not that I've seen, I don't believe. And if he does, it's just like Uncle Roger needs to call him out and just be like, what you doing? I am Asian cook on YouTube. I guess <laughs> it's like... I. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't know. I guess I've never mistaken them because I literally subscribe to both of them. You know, yeah, I same. They have different content and different personalities and stuff. You know. I agree. It's just it, it. People are people just don't know how to differentiate sometimes. It it's just ignorance. Plus, I know like Uncle Roger's real name is Nigel. Yeah. So obviously he's not Steve. Nigel. Um. Yeah. And that Steve. And I would say the biggest thing is just it, it's just. It's ignorance. What else is that? What else is there to say? It's just people don't know the difference. In, okay. And the secret here is to get a bit of text. I think he's trying to use bacon as replacement for pork lard. Maybe pork lard hard to find in West, so Gordon used bacon to cheat it. But Gordon, most people in Indonesia Muslim, they cannot eat bacon. Hiya. Maybe Gordon bacon halal. Niece and nephew. Anything can be halal if you put your mind to it. Even smoky barbecue pork. Is it halal? Is smoky barbecue pork halal? Yes. The sauce. <laughs> no, too crazy on this. Sauce, sauce important. I like it quite spicy. I like it quite sort of uh, acidic. In goes the minced garlic. Garlic, okay. Ginger. Ginger, okay. That makes it a lot more fragrant. Some brown sugar. Brown sugar. Full sweet brown sugar. A little bit of togarashi spice. Togarashi. That, that Japanese again. Hiya. Two parts soy. 
soy sauce good. I like how Gordon Paul using feeling also. Fuyo, that how you know he good <laughs> chef. He just throw also using soy sauce and brown sugar correct because Indonesian fried noodle. Most important ingredient in there is sweet soy sauce, ketchup manis. Gordon know hard to get ketchup manis in Western country, so he make his own. Not bad, not bad. Remember for Asian cooking, don't use white sugar. White sugar for uncultured people. Two parts soy. Uncultured <laughs> Okay. So that's, that's, that's a lot of soy. Spoons of soy sauce. That's a lot three of soy. Three tablespoons, three tablespoons, and then he pour half the bottle. Oh. Hiya. <laughs> One nice tablespoon of oyster sauce. I was going to say, I, all of a sudden I just imagine the John Cena, like, it's that, and now, two shots of vodka proceeds to pour, like, one-fourth of the bottle, yeah. and, and there's just, like, the whole, like, are you sure about that? That's what I hear here, with, like, the, it's, like, three tablespoons of soy sauce, like, are, are you, Gordon, are you sure about that? Soy sauce. Three tablespoon, three tablespoon, and then he pour half the bottle. Hiya. <laughs> one nice tablespoon. Of oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. That's really good mix, okay? Uncle Roger prefer if you use shrimp paste. But Uncle Roger, no. Shrimp paste is white people, kryptonite. It killed them all thick. Bullshit. I love shrimp paste. Can't handle the smell. Only Asian people can handle shrimp paste. It an Asian privilege. If you have <laughs> white people friend come visit you and they don't leave just microwave shrimp paste, they fuck off instantly. <laughs> one nice tablespoon of oyster sauce. I guess if you ever want Uncle Roger to leave your house, pull out the chili jam. Yeah. <laughs> just be like, be like, hey Roger, I'm gonna make a dish real quick. Uh, let me just uh, grab my trusty chili jam. He'd be like, goodbye, have to go, see you later. <laughs> He'd more likely kick you out of your own kitchen. Yeah. He probably would. Get out, get out. Get out of your, get out of kitchens. Like, it's my kitchen. I know, you lose kitchen privilege. <laughs> nice teaspoon of ground coriander. Gordon used feeling for all the ingredients so far. <clears throat> but then why you have kitchen skill at the back there, Gordon? Why has Nigella been around to cut her white powder? <laughs> Shit. Oh no. Damn. <laughs> Nigella in love with the cocoa. <laughs> uh, now, guess that's how you stay skinny while being a chef. Huh? Well, I, I guess. Later. Maybe Gordon's on that. Actually, no, Gordon does run a lot. He He's a like avid runner. Yeah, Literally. Like, Gordon. Well. I use whisk. Whisk is the worst kitchen utensil. Niece and nephew. Mm. You ever put whisk in your kitchen drawer? And then what happened? Kitchen drawer cannot open. Hiya. Whisk will fuck up your drawer. <laughs> Don't use whisk. Proper Asian way. You want to mix things? Just chopsticks. use chopstick to mix. Use chopstick. Oscar, calm down, man. Look. That fat now is coming out of the bacon, okay? If your cameraman in video, you fucked up. Look at the back there. The only cookbook Gordon have is his own. I think Gordon in love with himself. Check the flavor. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. I mean, come on. He's Gordon fucking Ramsay. Mm. Wow. That's delicious. It's sharp. I'm going to just increase that sort of soy. <laughs> Even more soy sauce. <laughs> I'm feeling again. Always taste while you cook. That's very good. It's nice and thick, not too watery, but every mouthful is packed with that wonderful Asian flavor. Wonderful Asian flavor. That sound a bit dirty. Uncle Roger, like, I'm gonna use that phrase with all the new auntie. Sorry, children. <laughs> Hello, auntie, what you doing? Would you like a mouthful of wonderful Asian flavor? But seriously, <laughs> 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 Lord, Jesus Christ, Roger. Asian flavors sound very vague because Asia, big place. You say Asian flavor, nobody have idea of what it actually tastes like. That like saying you should try this sauce, it tastes very black, or you should try this food, it tastes very white. Actually, that one kind of work. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's just. I I know boiled chicken, boil no, actually boiled turkey. Boiled turkey is the stalest, like, most unflavorful, un, like, just, ugh, it's awful. It's like, whenever my, whenever my dad cooks a turkey, he 
like he marinates it and then he like cook he like cooks it and everything. He never boils it. He like throws it in the I've oven. Never heard of anybody boiling a turkey? This sounds awful. I've had it a few times. There are several things that you just shouldn't boil, and poultry is one of those things. In my opinion. I agree. I agree. You could boil the eggs if you'd like that well, kind of thing. Truth be told, I don't it even wasn't like the texture of boiled eggs. Truth be told, it wasn't the fact that it was in the water itself. It was on a rack above boiling water. So it's more like and a steamed turkey. Yes, sort of, kind of like that. It still doesn't sound like the best way to make it. It's turkey. not. It's terrible. It. it I remember whenever I went over, I, my my aunt who used to cook all the time for us, she's not with us anymore. But, eh, I guess uh, that's one thing I don't miss was was her her uh, steam slash boiled uh, turkey, hmm. and everything else was pretty good. I mean, back when I used to eat green beans, I her green beans were really good. You ate green beans? Yeah. Oh, I loved green beans when it had the had like the bacon cut up in it, a little bit of a you know it it was it was actually really good back in the day. What made you stop eating vegetables? I don't know. My cut my my palate changed. And All now, you eat is pizza. I eat more vegetables, no. but the kind of tastes like they came out Chicken. of the ground. <laughs> no. Well, do you like mashed potatoes? I fucking love mashed potatoes. Okay. I love mashed so potatoes. You're a I love meat corn. And potatoes. Yes. Ah. I like vegetables when you do unhealthy things to them. So, like, I love broccoli slathered in cheese. I love sweet carrots. You like fried okra? No. Oh. I would say also for me, uh, as I've gotten older, my palate has changed a bit more, and stuff that I used to like a lot, you know, like pizza sauce, I don't like anymore. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's weird. My my palate has changed a lot over the years, and I've just... I wonder if your palate will change after you have your, your That's surgery. the thing. Once I have my esophagus stretched, I'm worried about a lot of things. I'm worried if my voice is going to change, too. I'm worried because, you know, it could potentially affect my voice box. Oh, really? Potentially. They say it's... They say it could potentially, like, cause a little bit of uh, vocal cord stretching, mm-hmm. in which... Would cause my vocal cords to either like, like to change a little bit, mm-hmm. but they say it's low risk if it's like lower in my esophagus. It just depends on where the hiatal hernia is at. Huh. Uh, your taste buds technically change every seven years. There you go. It's weird how shit works. Eggs. Always crack on the flat surface into the pan. You're that impressive. And- Nice cracking egg with one hand. It's like taking bra off with one hand. Important skill to master in life. Now, please, Not that hard. Let's go back onto the heat. <laughs> but look, take tip of the waist. But look at what I uh, go back a bit. Go back. See, that dome will look like stir fry noodle. <coughs> look like white Bless people you. breakfast Sorry. egg and bacon. This look like stuff British people eat when they hang over. Where the meat going? No, no, there's not enough beans, Roger. I mean, <laughs> That's the thing with with English breakfast. The beans are like front and center, and I'm like, oh, I don't understand the obsession with like beans in British cuisine. Mm. Oh well. What? I just break that up. Break that up. You probably thinking Uncle Roger gonna say hi? Yeah, don't use metal utensil in nonstick pan. But actually, Gordon have special pan. It nonstick. But you can use metal in their free It's carbon steel. It's the hex clad brand that he. Yeah. It's his brand. And how much does uh, some of those pans cost? Like $300. Exactly. Oh, what, Roger for one Lopez. pan? Yeah. Because I meet Gordon recently. Hey! <laughs> Either that, or you can burn your finger pads off on oh, that's the right. oh. pan and he'll send you a full set along with his knife. Woo! Because <laughs> he did that for the guy that touched the bottom of his fucking pan. <laughs> ah! He like, was fingertips. like, my fingerprints oh. literally stuck to the bottom of the pan. And then Gordon made a little video <clears> calling <throat> him a donut and then sent him. And he's like, well, to send me a non-stick pen so you don't have to worry about your fingerprints being stuck to the bottom of you. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky bastard. Gordon, give me his special pants. That was so black pink you one. Very much, Gordon. Yeah, it was. See, this the what Gordon give me. See, I just put it here, easy access. So when people ask Uncle Roger, where my walk, where my walk, I go it right there. 
the inside non-stick but you can use metal spoon in there see using metal in non-stick pan like saying nice thing about auntie helen it still feels so wrong <laughs> <laughs> take your noodles and lay those noodles over those eggs finally the noodle so, go in it's incredible press them down into the eggs and the bacon don't use your hand you're gonna burn yourself a little season Togarashi spice. Togarashi again? Is this Gordon's version of MSG or something? Hiya, why use it so many times, Gordon? It's okay to use regular chili powder. No need so fancy. Okay, start caramelizing that really nicely. Now, the Asian greens, okay? Asian greens? Is that what Uncle Roger called my money? <laughs> Just nice slicing. Thinly, the leaves. Are really tasty. You can hear those noodles sort of tasty. No, away. all vegetable taste like set. Over and then bang. Look, this is gonna send Uncle Roger into overdrive. What? Trust me. You know it's gonna <laughs> make me angry, and you still do. Now, I know I'm using a frying pan, and he loves the wok. But trust me, I've been to Indonesia more times than he has. Let me. Tell you. <laughs> the sauce. <laughs> Did Gordon just call out Uncle Roger? Trust me, I've been to Indonesia more times than he has, let me tell you. Go Indonesia so many times for what? You still use wrong noodle, hiya. It's true. Not everybody <laughs> rich like you, Gordon. Can fly here, fly there. When Uncle Roger get money, I'm gonna go to Indonesia also. Maybe I do my stand-up tour there. What you think, niece and nephew? If you want Uncle Roger to tour Indonesia, leave comment down below. Last spring onions. And just go at an angle, okay? Good. Them up. And they go in on top. Beautiful. Some coriander, some bean sprouts. Plant those sprouts over there. Mee goreng, same like egg fried rice. Everything must be prepared and then go in at once. That good. There's the go. Whack up the heat, touch of salt, and now we start mixing, okay? I'll give that a really good toss. Okay. See, that why you need to use wok. There's too much shit in the frying pan. <laughs> There's not enough space for the food to move and cook. You got, just pan down, please, Oscar. Just check this out. Got that crispiness in the bacon. See, everything's stacking on top of each other. Hiya, Gordon. He used to be wok fuckboy. You got so many wok. What happened to you now? Now you're just cooking with one frying pan? Just use wok. Don't wok block yourself. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's overcrowded. See his pan? Overcrowded. Tasty. Now, before that comes out... Is pan more overcrowded than Japanese train high? Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> From there. Okay, I'm watching. Oh, sauce. Fresh ginger. Fresh garlic. Soy. Now, one more toss. Watch, watch, watch. You're just putting sauce on noodle. Wow, so excitement, so adrenaline. I don't know if my heart can handle this level of excitement. Sauce on noodle. Too much sauce, you're gonna drown it. Just coat those noodles so they're lightly glazed, but you don't want it soggy. Nothing worse than a soggy noodle, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, yeah, how Gordon know the reason my ex-wife left? <sighs> All my nephew out there, you ever have your noodle get so soggy and you look at your noodle and you go, hi, yeah, why so weak? So oh, weak. weak. Now, turn that over. And now, see the color. Please, Oscar, pan down. Pan down, Uncle Roger. Open your eyes. Look, beautiful. Open my eye? My eye open, Gordon. Just because I'm Asian and my eyes small, don't mean it close, okay? <laughs> Chili, ginger. <laughs> oh. God dang it. Oh, Generously done. The smell is incredible. Let's be honest. There's nothing there for two or three of you. And there we go. Amazing Indonesian street food phenomenon. Fuyo, it look good, Gordon. Look good and done in 10 minutes. So fast. Most impressive thing is that he make his own kicap manis. Uncle Roger, maybe I add some shrimp paste, some sesame oil, and of course some MSG. But cannot give you Uncle Taito back. Because you use udon noodle, hiya. This much better than Gordon Ramen Weijo. I give him that. But Gordon, you used to be walk fuckboy. What happened to your walk? Did you send Uncle Roger your last walk? 
because I can send it back to you, no worry. Just let me know. Please go back to being walk fuck boy. Frying pan fuck boy don't sound as good. <laughs> if you have whisk at home, throw it out, give it to your enemy. Fuck up their drawer. <laughs> come, auntie, come. <laughs> Come try some wonderful Asian flavor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <man. laughs> Cracking egg with one hand, it's like taking bra off with one hand. Important skill to master. <laughs> <laughs> Don't walk block yourself. <laughs> All my nephew out there, you want your noodle to be al dente noodles. <laughs> Not soft and soggy. So weak, I so, weak. so soft, so soft. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I wish we got better close up. The color look good, but Uncle Roger can't tell if the noodle overcooked or undercooked. It like Pandora's walk. Listen, niece and nephew, dating is like job interview. You always have to lie to get the job. <laughs> Correct? So you see woman, you see man, you go on date, hide your crazy. Don't show them you're crazy on first date. Show them you're crazy on the fifth year. Hide your crazy for five years. Then they start. And by the time too late, got house, got two kids, they can't leave. That's how you have happy marriage. Oh my God. <laughs> it's terrible. It's advice. like some of my exes didn't show me they were crazy for a couple of years. <laughs> Roger, come on now. <laughs> you must be stupid to believe in that. Oh god. <clears throat> so yeah, that was um God of mercy. It Gordon Ramsay, once again, just doing his best at cooking, but still not worthy of uh, yeah, redemption of his uncle title. Yeah. And of course, Uncle Roger just being Uncle Roger. Being Uncle Roger, what else is there to say except for <laughs> just damn. Anyway, there's so, way more innuendo in this episode. I think it, the more he goes on, the more he, the more innuendo he throws in. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I told you about the sorry children thing on the previous sorry episode. Children. He stopped <laughs> saying. Finally saw it this episode. Yeah. He, <laughs> and of course that. Yeah. Uh, the intro theme for a certain hub. Wink. Jesus. So, anyway, that's going to do it. This was uh, Gordon Ramsay Calls Out Uncle Roger. If you want to see more from uh, Uncle Roger, feel free to uh, click the name in the title of the video, Nigel Ung. And if you want to see more from us, feel free to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And, of course, be sure to leave a like on the video. It helps us out a whole lot. And, uh, yeah, if you want us to watch more Uncle Roger... Or if you want us to watch some Gordon Ramsay, feel free to let us know. But for now, everybody, that's going to do it. I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I am Nick. <laughs> Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace.